James wrote, You have not because you ask amiss. You ask that you can consume it upon your own lust. What is it that we're asking from God? What is it that we're wanting from him? That he'll make Washington, D.C. better? That he'll let us win an election and everything will be fine? That we'll have more money in our pockets? What is it that we're asking God for? It, it, we, we cry out to Jesus, please hear me, thou son of David. And he stops and says, what is it that you want me to do for you? Oh, give me popularity and make more people watch my videos and listen to my what? What is it that you want me to do for you, Mike? Break me, God. Kill me. Kill who I am. I'm not talking about physical death. I'm, I'm talking about the death of the attitude that brings me to the place that I can openly rebel against the God that has done so much for me. I owe him everything. I have nothing that I can declare as being my own, including holiness and righteousness. I cannot declare that I have done this on my own. So I beat on my chest and cry out, God, be merciful to me. I'm a sinner. Be merciful to me. And all of the well-meaning people say, just quiet down, Mike. I remember one time when we were in revival and the Lord had just impacted me. So I wasn't preaching. I was the pastor. The Lord had Im impacted me so much by the message. And I went up and I wept and I prayed and I wept and I prayed. And everybody was just sitting there waiting on me, doing nothing. Shows you the picture. The evangelist came up to me and put his hand on my shoulder and said, you know, pastor, everybody's waiting to leave. Maybe you should just get up and go back and, and close the service. And I did. How foolish are we? How foolish are we? We were waiting on God to do something and we're waiting on him to do the wrong thing because we have not, because we ask amiss. God will supply all of my needs. How's he going to do it? I don't know. But he will do it. He always has and he always will. Oh no, I've got to start just say, I, I got to be all worried and concerned and bothered by this reality. Mike, what is it that you want me to do? Oh Lord, break me and give me the mind of Christ. Renew a right spirit in me and change my heart because I'm not so concerned about the things that I do wrong as I'm concerned about the motive of why I am doing it. I haven't brought that one up for a while. But let me tell you something, my friends. God is much more concerned about what is motivating me, and so am I.